Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is five fast knife reviews. Starting it off, we have the Civivi Relic. Awesome knife. I have not had it for a very long time, but I can easily do a review right now. No, I have not sharpened it yet, but I've sharpened a ton of Nitro V, and Nitro V takes an incredibly sharp edge. It takes a really good fine edge. Now, it doesn't hold its fine edge for a very long time, at least from my experience, but it still takes a really good fine edge, and its working edge does last, you know, for a decent amount of time. And a little hidden Easter egg on this knife is the tweezers in the back. They're out of the way, and you can pull them out at any time, pull out a splinter, or use them for whatever you might need to use some tweezers for. Now, they're not going to be like the best tweezers in the world, but in a pinch get it? In a pinch, they will work. And they fit nicely into the bottom of the handle, nice and snug. You don't even feel it or notice it's even there until you might need them, which is a cool little detail. It does have a beautiful stone wash on it, so it's going to protect you from scratching or itself from scratches. The Micarta is a little bit better quality than their older stuff. Now, it's not a huge upgrade, but it's still a lot better, and it does offer a nice tactile feel. Even if you have wet hands, it'll, you know, it'll give you a nice grip. The action uh, is really good. I love the action on this thing. Now, I originally thought it had a light detent, but, you know, just like any knife, after you have it for a little bit and you get to keep flipping it, you know, you get used to the detent it has. And in this case, it is a very snappy and very reliable. Is it on the lighter side? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I would never fail it without intentionally trying. And... I can reverse flick it, which I actually really like. I uh, you should, actually I, I more than uh, more than flip it. I I do reverse flick it because it's so easy, and I can easily thumb flick it too, or um, slow roll it with my thumb. But the flipper tab does have really good jimping. It is nice and grippy, and it fires out with authority. Reversible deep carry pocket clip, which is nice, so lefties you're included, and it does have access to the lock bar, which I'm actually really thankful of because Civivi has been kind of not not doing that as well lately. They've been uh, leaving that out, which I'm not happy with. So I'm I'm definitely happy that they ch that they uh, gave me access to the lock bar here, unlike some of their m other recent models. We do have. An internal stop pin, as you can see right there. So that's really good because if you ever want to put a finger choil in or a sharpening choil, it is nice and open for that. The cutting geometry is really, really good. It's super comfortable in the hand, and it does cut very, very well. Nice and thin behind the edge, and you can see that the tip aims right down, so great for utility cuts. You know, it's not the best-looking knife, but, man, this is a very, very useful knife. So anybody who has one will definitely find that this is extremely useful. Let's get to the next one. Now this next one, this two son. Well, a lot of people screamed about this Tucson and I'll be honest it's a, it's really good it is a really good Tucson super comfortable in the hand I think it's just it's not my style I don't think I think it's because the handle feels so much bigger than the blade however this thing is incredibly well made the machining looks beautiful on it the thumb stud action is so good the action is incredible, and you have that little hole, which you don't really use, but you can because your finger can go right up underneath the the thumb studs, and the thumb studs are so good. And it has titanium liners. This thing is, it is really good, man. It's just, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, the blade with the handle to me. But aside from that, this thing is really awesome. The utility cuts are amazing. You can get such a comfortable grip on this thing. And it does get nice and thin behind the edge. So it's going to be a great slicer. It has a nice, strong, thick spine that tapers down to the tip. So you're not going to want to do anything crazy with the tip. But dang it, it's really good at utility cuts. The liner is titanium with a steel lock bar insert, and it is very smooth. Now, it's not a false shut action, but it's definitely drop shutty on its ceramic caged bearings. 
and the thumb studs act as a stop pin, as you can see. Now, it also has an internal stop pin, so it has two stop pins. Isn't that cool? This thing is, man, it, it is really incredible, this thing. Uh, the clip works great. Clip works great. It is a chunker, though. It is pretty heavy. So, you know, you do have to put that into consideration. Nice, uh, big titanium backspacer. And, yeah, just an awesome, awesome knife. Now, the blade steel, the 14C28N. You guys know I love 14C. I think um, it's a really, really good steel, and it does hold a really good edge, and it gets incredibly sharp. However, they did not give you a good choil on this one. Luckily, you can always cut in your own choil if you want to which they do put jimping right here so you can get up nice and close to that blade. But so like putting a choil there might not look as good, but you always could just notch it out right here and just put a notch. But very, very awesome knife. Um, the un unlocking it is very comfortable because of the way they did the cutout. They didn't like make it a great access, but it winds up working out really good. Next is the Kubi Nova with G10. Now, I used to have this in titanium, a titanium frame lock version. So this one is um, a little bit more budget friendly, but it is very well made. Great ergos, very comfortable in the hand, beautiful sharpening choil. So this thing is going to take a ridiculously sharp edge and it's going to be very easy to put it on there. It is in D2 steel. In my opinion, D2 does great at a, at a medium grit, like around six to 800 grit, uh, medium to fine grit. Um, the cutting geometry is really, really nice. It does have kind of a bead blast stone washed finish. So that is hopefully going to help you from corrosion a little bit and also from scratches. The action really really good this flipper tab is very comfortable and you get a lot of leverage doing the push button or the light switch both of them are equally as good and it flips out with authority um very very comfortable in the hand you can use this as a choil but i don't think it's really meant for it, but you absolutely can especially if you're going to choke up into a push you know push cut it does have a reversible deep carry clip and T8 construction all the way around. I believe we have a T10 pivot there, which I'm really happy that uh, Kubi is doing that. You know, they're doing all their knives and nice big hardware. I love that. The cutting geometry is so good in this thing. This thing slices really, really good. This is a fantastic work knife. Access to the lock bar, really generous, very smooth on the drop. It is on ceramic caged bearings with a ceramic detent ball. And the detent is well-tuned. So, man, this thing, it's a winner for sure. And it's not anything but a really good knife. It's a great work knife, a great user. You know, it's going to sharpen up really good. It's going to take a really good edge. It's going to cut really good. It's going to carry really good. You know, the action's really good. Next. Now, I recently got this. Ganzo, but I have tried to to rush it for this Fast Five because this is one of their older models. I do have their other model coming up soon because this one's going to be in a 2021 video. But this one was done last year. I believe it was last year. Anyways, so smooth. They do have a new version of this, though, a smaller version. But this is the full-size one, and man, is this thing good. It is so good. The detent is so well-tuned. I mean, it's hard to fail this. It, it's just, it's so well-tuned. The detent, the ergos are really nice. It melts in your hand. Such a good grip. The cutting geometry is average, but it winds up working out really good with this blade shape and the ergos. So it cuts really good. Utility cuts are good. Access to the lock bar is super generous. And it is fall shut action. Reversible deep carry pocket clip that works really good. The G10 is really good quality. It feels really good in the hand. Man, it's insane that this thing is as cheap as it is. You know, it's such a good knife. It's incredible. It is D2 steel, so you do have to worry about corrosion a little bit, but it is a steel that should hold an edge pretty good as long as they do a decent heat treat, which Ganzo's not doing a horrible job on their D2, so it winds up working out really good. This is a, an extremely affordable good knife. Next, or last, we have the Kaiser... 
that didn't go good. The Kaiser Harpoon. Great knife. It is more of an EDC fixed blade, more so than a camper. I did attempt to go outside and do some outdoor stuff with it. It's not really that kind of knife, but I think for EDC, it's going to work out great. The coating doesn't hang on very well. You can see the coating does come off pretty easily, and my edges my edge is pretty chipped up. I do need to resharpen it. Um, so, you know, take it for what it is. It's it's not the best coating. However, it's a good knife. Great geometry. It gets down to a nice thin edge. You can get up nice and tight to that blade. Very comfortable. They, these come in a couple different options. This one's the Deadpool option. The Micarta is extremely good quality. Great thickness, great everything. You can see a second liner of G10. So we have red and black G10. Or sorry, we have black G10 and red micarta. I'm sorry. But nice and tight to the blade. You feel really secure up in this grip. The way this thing chamfers around right there, squeezes into your hand really good. Push cuts are really good. But... The tip is not going to be um, super, super durable. Now, I think it's going to be just fine for EDC use, but you do have to lift up pretty high to get to it. It is more kind of like a straight back design, even though it's not a straight back, but, you know, you're going to get a lot more belly. But slicing, cutting, all the geometry on this thing is really good, and it works out good. But I do worry about this little edge. When you take it out of the sheath, you do have to be careful. So when you pop it out, you'll do that. You'll pop it out and you'll go like that with your finger. So you want to be careful to make sure you keep your finger nice and tight like that. So when you pop it out, you're like, you know, you're pushing up to it and not over it. So just be careful for that if you do pick one of these up. It's not that big of a deal and you do get used to it really quick, but it is a thing. The sheath does work out really good. Nice retention on it. Um, not not like the best, but it works really good considering. And you can carry it scout or on the side. You can move these belts however you want. I did have the belts unsnap once or twice, but, you know, it's not um, that big of a deal. You know, I think it was more my fault that that happened more so than the, the sheath. I think it was the way or how my belt was because my belt was a, a little wide for the, you know, the space I had. But it still worked out great and I carried it all day, you know, on my back. And it is still a solid knife. And yeah, I can definitely recommend it for an EDC blade. I would not recommend it for a camper, though. Not for camping, hiking, or anything like that. But for EDC, it is a great little fixed blade. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.